Hi guys, it's Anthony with AJK Beauty back with another video. And today I'm super excited because um, I just finished um, putting together a review um, over the past few months actually uh, for the entire Sweet Chef uh, skincare line as it stands today. Um, so I wanted to do just kind of like a roundup review where I cover um, each product individually, just quickly touching on some of the benefits and what I saw from each of them um, in hopes that, um, you know, that information helps you in deciding on if Sweet Chef skincare is a good brand for you or if there are certain products that might work for you. Um, so I think what I'm going to do is work my way in reverse going, I, I mean reverse in the sense that I'm starting on this end and going over um, because I kind of organized it in when these products were released. So the first launch of Sweet Chef um, skincare, which is a sister brand of Glow Recipe, um, came out, I believe it was in January, and then um, just last month they brought two new items into the fold as well. So we have a total of um, eight products that are currently available through Sweet Chef, and I've had at least a month with every single one of them. Um, there are we left the sliding door open so because it's so hot and so the dog could kind of come in and out as he pleases and now there's a couple flies in here that I have not been able to get so if you see a fly I'm I really apologize it's kind of weird for a YouTube video but I there's nothing I can do there's like I think there's one or maybe two but anyway um, so let's work our way down I'll put links at the bottom for all of these products. Um, and the pricing so you can um, take a look. But let's start with the sheet masks. Um, these are called the um, Sweet Chef Fresh Pressed Sheet Masks. And first of all, the packaging on all of these products is very vibrant and bright, very cute. I love all of this stuff. The marketing and the branding around it is just so unique and it's uh, focused on foods just like um, Glow Recipe is, but these are focused on like kind of like roots um, and then like leafy greens so it's more of like your vegetables as opposed to glow recipe go glow recipe being fruits like avocado and blueberry and watermelon and pineapple so um yeah so the fresh pressed sheet masks each of these is a cotton style sheet mask that um, applies really really nicely um, it's a fairly decent mask material just a typical cotton type and then um, they each have these really cute little prints on the mask. You can see in the corner there, it gives you a little idea of what it's gonna look like. So it's like a little print with like a fun, like cute pun right there on the cheek, which is kind of cute and fun, different from, I haven't really seen just like little prints. I've seen like full on like animal printed masks or character masks, but ones that just have like a little branding on them. I think that's really cute. Um, each of these has a different um, essence inside. You've got ginger plus vitamin C, you've got beet plus vitamin A, and you've got kale plus vitamin B. So uh, basically A, B, and C going across. So um, I started with the ginger plus vitamin C. This has a, a really thin kind of watery essence and um, it, it smells really great. It has a really nice scent, but it focuses on bringing vitamin C um, and ginger root extract to the skin. You've also got honey extract, so it helps just to like give some light nourishment and hydration, but also to brighten the skin. And although I found this mask to be fairly mask to be fairly hydrating, and I it, in general it was a fine hydrating mask, it just didn't really do much for me in the way of like instant brightening or like really immediate results. So out of the three, I'd say this one was my least favorite. Um, the essence was just not as nourishing and as robust as I would like um, in a sheet mask, and that's just personal preference. Um, I think um, those that ha um, have super oily or combination skin and really just can't handle anything, su and anything emollient on um, their skin would probably prefer this because it's the most watery out of the three. Um, so yeah, it wasn't for me necessarily, but I could see it working really well for some people. Um, the Beet Plus Vitamin A mask also has a slightly watery um, consistency, but there's just a little bit more of like a serum quality to it. It's just slightly thicker, um, still completely clear. Um, and then this includes um, beetroot, which is a powerful antioxidant and it can help to, um, um, 
bring a lot of hydration to the skin as well. And then it also has vitamin A, which is retinol. And so that is, um, in this form, I think it's retinol, uh, let me make sure I say that right. It is retinol, retinol palmitate, which is a um, derivative of retinol. And it's um, said to be a more gentler form, um, less kind of invasive and less exfoliating, but this is still gonna give you a very gentle kind of smoothing and very, very mild resurfacing of the skin. It also can help to reduce the size of pores, um, help to declog pores. So a Glow Recipe doesn't necessarily advertise this as being a retinol product, even though that's what vitamin A is. Um, and in fact, they list the beet as having the softening and smoothing ability and the vitamin A to be the antioxidant provider, but I really think those should be reversed. And in fact, um, there's actually a sticker that's been applied to the back of this mask and a sticker that's been applied to this for the product description. And so I had a second one of these, so I peeled it off. And in fact, their original marketing did have that in reverse. It talked about vitamin A being mildly exfoliating and then the beet being the antioxidant. So I don't know if they were just worried that people might be put off by the idea of having retinol products in this line. Uh, maybe this is more geared to people that are focused on more of a natural product and a gentler product. So the idea of retinol being in there might have, I don't know, it might have just turned people off. So it makes sense that that they might have done that, but I wish they would have just been, you know, totally upfront at what you're going to get because this is a really good mask. It totally left my skin feeling more smooth, more soft, more supple, which is hard to do from a sheet mask, just a single assist that I think I've gotten into using something that was similar to the Peach and Lily original glow mask that has AHAs for refining and exfoliation. So this is one, you know, if you don't if you're traveling and you want to take you don't want to take your exfoliation steps with you on the road or, you know, to wherever you're going, this is a good kind of stand-in to just get some mild, gentle but um, easily packable and quick exfoliation done and out of the way. Um, so I really liked this one. Th this whole line has kind of a similar scent. It's kind of this like lemony kind of herbal citrus scent. It's very nice. Um, and then the last one is the Kale plus vitamin B fresh pressed sheet mask. This is the most emollient out of the three. It, you take it out and it has that really creamy kind of milky essence. And I'm, I'm starting to prefer those versus any other type. Um, just with my current skin needs and just the type of nourishment and type of hydration that I'm doing right now with my skin, I like these thicker masks, even in the summertime. And especially this one, because once you remove that mask, um, that excess essence doesn't sit like a lotion. It doesn't sit like a night cream or anything. It just soaks right in just as easily as the thin, kind of more watery ones, which is kind of amazing. Um, so this features kale plus vitamin B, which I believe is in the form of panthenol. Yeah, panthenol. You also have aloe leaf extract in this, sodium hyaluronate, centella asiatica. So it's gonna help to soothe the skin as well as provide some much needed hydration. So if you have been out in the sun too long and or maybe you skipped your uh, reapplication of sunscreen or you're just feeling irritated or your skin's just generally red or upset that particular day, or if that's a skin condition that you suffer from on a consistent basis, this is one that can come in and provide a lot of deep um, hydration, long lasting hydration and nourishment while still soothing the skin. But once again, I think even those with oily skin types would be fine with this because that excess, excess essence, um, even though it's quite thick, it just, it, it melts right into the skin really well. Um, so I would say out of these three, this is personally my favorite, even though it has that watery, more watery consistency, because it's hard to find a good resurfacing mask that actually does its job. Um, I found that those that have more like lemon or even like the charcoal clarifying mask, they're not phys they're not using any sort of like exfoliation to like really smooth and resurface the skin in a true way. This actually does that with a little bit of that retinol um, or retinol palmitate. And I think just the general formula just leaves my skin feeling super soft and kind of like reset. So I'd say this one's my favorite, this one's in second place, and then this guy is my least favorite. So. That's it for the sheet masks. And then along with the sheet masks back in January, Sweet Chef launched three serum shots. And so these are basically three different serums that are intended to target three different um, 
you know, skin, skin conditions and provide specific results. So um, once again, I'll start in the same order. Um, this is the Ginger Plus Vitamin C Serum Shot. Let me give you the box so you can get a picture, better picture. Look at how I love the packaging. It's just so cute. Um, but this features vitamin C and ginger um, root extract, very similar to the sheet mask. And I'm, I used it all up. I'm completely out of it. I actually use, um, started this a few months ago, did a review on it um, a few months ago, and then came back to it as part of this whole kind of like brand recap. And so I finished it up. Back then, I wasn't a big fan of it, and I'm still not a big fan of it. Um, I don't have the exact percentage of vitamin C. I actually talked about this in my um, Battle of the Vitamin C Serum, so take a look at that for you know full details, but um, it, it just wasn't very impactful in the way of brightening and lightening dark spots and hyperpigmentation, which is kind of what I'm looking for from a, a vitamin C serum. It just didn't seem uh, effective enough in that. It might be okay as a maintenance thing. You know, maybe you've lightened some dark spots and you just want to keep things where they are without continuing a stronger vitamin C. This is a gentler format that might work for you, but for me, it just wasn't enough. And um, I just didn't really see much from it other than it providing some nice, like a boost of like watery hydration. It was a quite watery serum. Um, take a look at that other video. Um, so I would use it as a mix-in in in my moisturizer, just as a standalone. I even took it with me on the go just to like pat it in. It was almost like a serum facial mist. I, you know, if my skin was feeling dry in a particular area, just a couple drops, pat it in, and it really helped to provide some watery hydration. I would just lock it in with something more emollient, like a moisturizer or maybe a facial mist that has like a shea butter or watermelon oil or something like that. So, um... It just didn't do what it claims to do on the box, which is to brighten dark spots and um, even the skin tone. It just wasn't enough for me. But once again, just like with the sheet mask, I think that if you're just starting with vitamin C, you're looking for something very gentle and kind of step your way up into some stronger percentages of um, active ingredients. This is a great place to start, um, especially if you've used something stronger like the Pineapple Sea Bright Serum, from Glow Recipe or the Cosrx Triple C Lightning Liquid, and those were too irritating. Maybe step down and try um, something like this that's just a little bit more gentle and not as concentrated. So this was my least favorite out of the three serums, and the sheet mask with the same ginger plus vitamin C was my least favorite. So I just, I just don't think I like this formula, and we'll talk about the last product that has ginger in it here in just a second and my thoughts on that. Um, so, um, oh, just as a heads up, I think these are $3.50 at the Sweet Chef site. Double check the pricing below, and you can also find them at Target. And then these are $20. These serum shots are $20 a piece. Once again, Sweet Chef site or at Target. Um, so moving right along, um, the Beet Plus Vitamin A serum shot. So very similar to the mask, except this consistency is going to be a little bit thicker than the mask was. It's not just like a watery essence. It has um, kind of a weight to it, which I find really, really interesting from a serum. Most serums that I use are a little bit lighter than this. I mean, obviously I've used some that are like stickier and more honey-like, but this just kind of has a, a slight wateriness to it, but there's also some weight. So it does drip, but it takes a little bit. It kind of, I'd almost want to say it's almost like a jelly consistency, but it's not. It's it's somewhere in between. And so that just absorbs right into the skin. Um, you, um, you know, you'll get a little bit of glow from it, but it absorbs really quickly. And I love that there's no synthetic dyes in these products, but just from the natural ingredients, it has a pink hue, kind of like a Pepto pink. So I really like that. This has actual retinol, so it's not the derivative, it's straight up retinol. You've also got the beetroot, you have um, cocoa seed um, extract in here. Um, and then what else was in here? Let me, one moment please. Um, Sugarcane extract is also in here too. Um, and if I didn't say it, soybean oils, like a, an oil base, a little bit of like kind of a, a slight emollient to it, but it's not much. They, all of these serums just soak right in and don't really leave a residue behind. Um, but 
This product, I used it right after coming off of using Differin Gel just to try it for a month. And I was, wor I, I saw some good benefits from using Differin in the way of like pore reduction and just like the, the texture of my skin just kind of evening out. So I was worried that coming off of that and going into something um, that has retinol in it, but I'm assuming is a much less potent version or potent concentration compared to the adapalene and Differin, um, because that's almost prescription strength is from what I have read. But this was able to keep the boat going and keep me going without any fear of irritation or dry patches or anything like that. I didn't experience any sort of weird retinization with this product. It was very, very gentle. It almost had kind of like a, a cooling quality just because it has that kind of lighter fluid texture. And over time, I, I mean, I've been using this for a little, I think just about a month, maybe a little bit over a month. My skin has really just felt a, or looked a lot more refined. The pores have stayed less, you know, intensely noticeable, which is hard to pull off on my skin in the summer. And it just makes my skin feel so smooth. I almost want to call it velvet skin because after I apply this with the moisturizer, which we'll talk about, my skin just has this like dewy, but there's this like softness to it that is just incredible. So I would say out of the three, this one's my absolute favorite. Of course, if you have sensitive skin, this does have retinol in it, so you want to proceed with caution regardless. And I just use a couple drops of each of these um, per application. So um, this one's my evening, and then uh, this one was more AM and PM, and then we'll talk about this one. Um, so yeah, you, you still want to proceed with caution if you've used retinols before and it didn't work out, or if you haven't used them before, you need to start really slow and work your way up. But if you are looking for something that's as gentle as possible to slowly kind of get there, I would say maybe throw on um, a sheet mask or two because that's got the retinal palmitate and, and maybe try out the serum to see how your skin reacts to it. I would give it at least a month of consistent use before you decide yay or nay. Of course, if you're having a poor reaction to it right away, then you know. But if you use it once or twice, and you're like, oh, awesome, let me just go grab you know, some 2% retinol from the ordinary since the serum, the, the serum shot from Sweet Chef worked for a week. You know, you want to give yourself some more time with this and slowly let your skin acclimate, acclimate to using a retinol product. So my favorite out of the three, let's talk about the kale plus vitamin B serum shot. This one takes it a step further with that thicker consistency and it actually brings something that's closer to a light lotion, in my opinion. Um, so there's that there. And you can see it's not, it's gonna run, but it's not quite as um, fluid, I guess, as the B plus vitamin A. It has this creaminess and this milkiness to it that you don't get from the other two serums. And oh my gosh, I can smell it. And it just smells so fresh and so nice. Um, I guess nice is very general. It's a very fresh, Kind of herbally it reminds me of like an herb garden but like brighter like with a citrus kind of boost behind it i i absolutely love the scents and it's all natural fragrance so it just comes from the extracts and the different um i think there's lavender oil and everything which kind of makes sense but once again you can see that just melted right into the skin i'll do it again because this is the one where I was like, okay, this looks like some sort of lotion in a serum bottle it's maybe gonna um take forever to to soak in maybe it's going to leave some sort of weird cast because it has kind of almost like kind of a per, like a milky or chalky look to it so i was like oh no this isn't going to look good on my darker skin but you just massage it in and it just it goes clear really quickly and it, it's going to take a bit longer to absorb because that's like the third layer but you get the idea very quick very easy with those with oily skin should not be afraid of this serum, even though I feel like it's the most nourishing and emollient of the three. It's very lightly so. It's more kind of a watery hydration across the board. Um, this one, you've got kale um, extract. I believe you have um, panthenol once again, just like the sheet mask for your, um, your smoothing and your like deeper hydrating. Um, turmeric root extract, eggplant fruit extract, and some more cocoa seed, and then lavender oil there at the end. Um, and then I think there's Irish moss in here as well. 
and red algae extract. So a lot of powerful antioxidants kind of across the board. You know, you've got vitamin C here, you've got the beet, now you've got kale and some other stuff. Um, but this one's, I mostly exclusively focused on that hydration. So that's a really good one to add if you're feeling extra dry. You can even use this, um, Sweet Chef recommends even using this as a spot treatment for dry patches because it just has this lightness to it. It's not like a heavy cream that you've got to work in. It just soaks right in, delivers that immediate hydration. And I think there's just enough emollient qualities to this to hold it there. But if you have really dry skin, you might want to go over that with the light moisturizer just to hold that hydration to the skin. So um, second favorite, uh, absolute favorite, and then least favorite. I would say out of any of the, out of all three, I think you're, you know, if you're just starting out with some actives, then these are great places to start across the board. And if you're the type of person that, you know, you have one moisturizer that you use throughout the year, but you find that in the summertime, it's a little too thick or heavy. These are great to just drop into a moisturizer to kind of do a little bit of a cocktail. It helps to break up that um, maybe heavier cream to give it more of like a emulsion or fluid consistency, but you're not going to be missing out on any of the hydrating benefits because these offer so much, even though they're a fluid kind of more like more of a thin consistency across the board. So I think they're great to have on hand and just use them as you wish each day. Don't commit to saying, well, you know, like, oh, I really, really need to just use the vitamin C or just use the vitamin A. Of course, you want to patch test and make sure that you're not going to have a reaction. But I love coming to my vanity every morning and every evening and saying, okay, um, I'm feeling extra dry. But, so I'm going to go for, a, you know, a couple extra drops of this or, you know, maybe just two drops or maybe my skin's feeling a little bit rough or I'm having some sort of texture issue for whatever reason, then I'll come in with the beet plus vitamin A. And then once again, I would prefer a different vitamin C serum, but if I was looking for something gentler and I was experiencing maybe some general dullness or maybe I have like an acne mark that's looking more prominent, I would come in with the uh, vitamin C. So they're just kind of like, just like an extra shot, I guess, of like a an extra um, beneficial ingredient or beneficial product to work into your routine. So I, I think it, I would, I wouldn't mind coming back to these two just to have on, on hand to mix in with other products in my routine. So I really liked all, not all three, I'll be honest. I like these two, didn't really like that one so much, but I could see who would. So these out of the way, once again, $20 on Sweet Chef site and Target. Now let's talk about the newbies to the family. So we have the Ginger Kombucha plus Vitamin D Chill Mist. And then we have the um, Superfood plus Vitamins Moisture Boost. Now uh, this is a face mist and then this is a moisturizer. Let's talk about, um, and these just came out a month ago, so I'm just wrapping up kind of the last couple days with them. But let's talk about the Ginger um, Kombucha plus Vitamin D Chill Mist. This mist smells great. It kind of um, embodies the whole, I feel like, essence of what the skin, uh, the uh, Sweet Chef line is, which is kind of that like, you know, um, juice bar, kind of refreshing, you know, boost or lift for your face. And uh, there's still a little bit of a smell there. I'm all out, but it just it was so very refreshing and it's very different than any other face mist that I've used before. It has kind of this lemony scent that's also kind of herbal, and then um, it, it smells like what you would think a ginger lemon kombucha would smell like, but you're just spraying it all over your face. So um, it has ginger root extract. It's also got um, fermented black tea, so that's where the kombucha piece comes from. And then you've got soybean seed extract, turmeric root extract, um, cucumber extract, sage leaf extract, um, and then lavender oil there at the end. Once again, I think that's mainly for fragrance. So I wasn't a big fan of this mist and it's the kind of the same reason why I'm not a big fan of the other ginger plus whatever products in this line in general. Um, it doesn't really have enough of that emollient piece or maybe that oil based piece to lock in the moisture after you've applied a facial mist. So think of something like the um, Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Ultra Fine Mist that has that layer of oil that you have to shake 
to mist. So it's like a biphase mist. So you're getting that fluid um, that provides a lot of the watery hydration, that refreshing feeling. And then that watermelon oil is gonna come in and basically hold it onto your skin. That way that hydration doesn't go right back out into the atmosphere and it keeps you going for longer throughout the day um, and gives you that longer hydration. I felt like with that one, I only had to use it once or twice during the day through you know an eight, 10 hour day at work and I was totally fine, and then at night I would come back with my evening moisturizer. But something like this that is very water-based, it feels refreshing. That initial kind of splash of watery hydration feels great, but I found myself a couple hours later being like, where did, where is it, where did it go? I, I want it, I want more. And so I found myself using this product a lot more frequently than I would something like the Watermelon Glow Mist, or another good example is the Aquel licorice pH balancing essence mist. I think I got that right. It's an exclusive with Soko Glam. That one's another one that has some oil-based ingredients, some more emollient feel to it. So it's almost like you're applying like a light facial oil plus the mist all at once. But it, they neither of those two feel sticky or oily or anything. They just hold that hydration, give you this softness that I don't get, I didn't get from this, and honestly, there's quite a few other kind of just like spray waters that I don't really get them from either. Um, so it feels more more like a spray water. It smells great. I didn't see a lot of calming or um, soothing action from it. Um, I, maybe if I really went intense with the sprays, I could, you know, more of that would actually sink in and I'd start to see those benefits over time. But there was just simply not enough in this bottle. Uh, for me to see some long-term results and the way I was using it as kind of a mist it did chill me out it felt nice it in, initially and it, it smells it's more of like a sensory experience and that calming experience just from the sensation of using a mist but outside of that I felt like I was just having to keep coming back to it and back to it to get that to keep that love come into my um, you know going onto my skin and I just I don't know it just wasn't for me um, Price-wise, I think this is $17 or $18, check below. Um, $17 or $18 for 75 mils. Um, ounce for ounce, I think it is, a, you know, quite a bit more affordable than the Watermelon uh, Glow Ultra Fine Mist, but the fact that I had to use it so much um, to get the result that I was hoping to find from it, I think I'd still prefer to drop the extra 10 eleven dollars on the other product even though you know it you know it is more expensive so that's that i feel like if you aren't looking for if you want really just a light watery facial mist and you're looking just more for that sensory refresh and that sensory experience and you're not so dead set on like i rely on my facial mist to provide you know moisture throughout the day if you just want something that's gonna give you kind of that like you know, patability for that light hydration um, and just kind of something that smells good and feels good, especially if it's a hot day, then this is this is an option, but I would still point you to the Watermelon Glow Ultra Fine Mist. I think that's kind of my absolute favorite for facial mists right now. Um, so there's that. And then last but not least, da -da 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 -da, is the um, Super Superfood Plus Vitamins Moisture Boost. This is a cream-based, um, I'm almost out, no, um, cream-based moisturizer. Um, I just do it, you know, a dime-sized amount, slather it on, but most often I'm mixing it with these two guys, a couple drops each. Um, I love this stuff. I think out of everything in this entire line, this is the thing that I'd say, no, no, I, I want to keep this. I could give up the the beet plus vitamin A and try, you know, go for maybe even step up to a stronger retinol to try, but this is one that I think I'm going to keep on hand all the time just as a backup in case anything else I'm testing doesn't really work out. And there's there's a couple reasons for that, and I'm going to be doing a, a battle of the uh, moisturizers, so I'll probably get into some more detail about the other products that I like that um, are comparable, but there is something that I was considering um, saying that would be my go-to, but we'll talk about why. Um, so this kind of encompasses all three of the vitamins that you have here from your serums. You've got, um, you've got B, A, and C from what I remember. Um, 
Da, 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 da. You have so we'll just go through it. Niacinamide. You've got ginger root extract. You've got mushroom stem extract. Beetroot extract here. Um, you've got um, ginseng, coffee seed extract, cottonseed oil, sesame seed oil. Um, I believe I don't want to say there's retinol in here, and then there's not. Mm, I'll leave it in the notes so I don't have to read all this out loud. I don't think there's retinol in this one though. Maybe it comes in some sort of form, uh, but you do have a lot of powerful antioxidant ingredients. You have the beet, um, you have the ginger, and then um, I, I don't know if you have the kale, but it kind of takes, oh yeah, there it is. I see it, retinol, boom. So yeah, it's got all of your um, different vitamins all together in this moisturizer, plus some extra, like the mushroom extract, which was interesting. So it helps to provide some hydration, it helps to brighten, it helps to smooth and soften, and I just loved it. It's got a, um, I'm gonna put my finger in here, I usually don't do that, but I'm gonna probably finish this up in a couple days, so hopefully it's not too, too bad. But it's got this like really lovely kind of whipped consistency, and it's not just a normal cream, because it's not as heavy, and it's not like a, jelly moisturizer or an emulsion because it's thicker than that. It's just somewhere in between and it's got this kind of like pudding style to it that I really, really like, which is kind of a hint to what I like to compare it to. Um, but it just goes on so nicely and it leaves this kind of like a, um, illuminating look that to me doesn't look greasy. It looks more, um, kind of iridescent, which I really, really like. And so it melts into the skin really well. You're not gonna see any residue or feel any residue. Um, and it, I just really like the look. The scent, once again, same across the board. It's very, very nice. Um, and I've found that this imparts a ton of hydration into my skin. I feel like I'm not even reaching for my facial mist quite as much now. Um, that I usually would. I feel like if I wasn't using this and I was using something like the, like the Cosrx Oil-Free Moisturizing Lotion or the Etude House Soon Jung um, 10 Free Emulsion, those are very light, um, like kind of watery um, moisturizers, I probably would have cranked through this freaking thing in like a week because those, those do require me to kind of reapply some hydration throughout the day um, if I don't do something heavier on top. Whereas this is just like a nice in-between. It's not so heavy that it feels stifling or feels uncomfortable, especially during the summer months. I think those with oily skin will like it. I would still proceed with caution because it has quite a bit of emollient ingredients. So even though it feels really lightweight, it's gonna leave behind this kind of light, light layer of just um, like emollient kind of oils that block everything in. So you're gonna feel that and to me, like I said, it makes me feel like I have the soft velvet skin, but I could see some people being like, this is too much. And if that is the case and you still wanna try this, then I would go for one of the serum shots to, like I said, if you have a, a heavier moisturizer, use one of these serum shots, just a couple drops to help break that up and make it a little bit lighter for you. You can kind of customize the weight of that moisturizer but you're gonna also be infusing a lot of the benefits from these serum shots. So I think these are these are great regardless, but um, for that purpose. But for me, I have kind of combination normal skin. I love the feeling of this. It's already kind of dried down to this really nice, my hand feels so soft, um, really nice uh, result. And um, yeah, I, I, I can't say enough good things about it. The reason why I would, pick this as my, um, I don't even wanna say it's my ultimate moisturizer because the one I'm grappling comparing it to is the Peach and Lily Matcha Pudding, um, is it Matcha Pudding Mo Antioxidant Cream? They are pretty close in consistency. The Matcha Pudding is a little bit heavier and a little bit more of like a true kind of custardy pudding where this is leans more towards like an emollient cream. Um, they're, I think they're the same size, but I believe this one runs for $18 or $19, and that other one runs for, I want to say $40, so it's double the price. I feel like the antioxidant power 
from the from the ingredients in these are very similar so it kind of blows my mind that sweet chef was able to pull off this formulation at such a um, competitive price point i that's the reason why i think i wouldn't mind swinging by target and grabbing one of these on the fly if something else was wasn't working whereas you know going and dropping forty dollars for a backup i don't know if i'd be as willing to do that so i love it it's hydrating it provides some a lot of kind of that more nourishment or emollient style hydration that my skin is loving right now but it does so in a way that doesn't make me feel stifled or gross in especially in the summertime it's just this really really nice balance and it absolutely complements i think what the essence of sweet chef is which is very approachable but yet effective and affordable ingredients that are cruelty free you've got no synthetic dyes or fragrances across the board so it just it, it just makes so much sense and it is such the whole brand is like exactly what is on trend right now and i i like it i i fully like the entire line i appreciate what they've done here i would just personally i wouldn't go for any of the ginger kombucha or ginger plus vitamin c products they're just not enough for my skin as it stands right now but i could see other people loving it so that's it. That is the Sweet Chef skincare line. Um, great products. Um, you can tell that a lot of time and effort went into putting these together, and they're they're very unique across the board and innovative. And but this guy, this is the one that I think I'll keep coming back to um, in the future in case something else doesn't work out. Um, so that's it. Let me know in the comments if you have any additional questions about this line. Um, if you, you know, if you need more information about anything here. Um, otherwise, be on the lookout for some upcoming review videos, some get ready with me, get unready with me. I've got all of that stuff coming this month. And then I've been putting off my sheet mask review um, video. I've got so many to talk about. So probably next week or the week after, I'll really sit down and maybe do um, a, a review video quickly of all the sheet masks that I've been using for the past couple of months. It's a lot. So that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, stay glowing. Goodbye. <laughs>